So today I'm going to answer the really burning popular questions. What do crickets have to do with submarines? And where do the tiny cups come from? Okay, I admit, you probably didn't have those questions, but I like underwater stuff, and believe it or not, they are very related to this respiration lab that's done with crickets, and I'm about to tell you all about it. So this stuff here is barrel lime. Now you can buy it as barrel lime, sophna lime, soda lime, soda zorb, extend air. They're all the same basic stuff. Mostly calcium hydroxide. It's all going to be this pelletized stuff, really caustic if you get it wet, uh, but it's not wet. These little granules absorb carbon dioxide out of the air. You should remember that during respiration, you're taking oxygen out of the air and putting carbon dioxide into it. In situations where you have to keep breathing the same air over and over again, being on a space station or a submarine, or using rebreather scuba gear. In those types of environments, the amount of carbon dioxide could rise to dangerous levels. To avoid having that happen, uh, we use bear lime products to remove the carbon dioxide from the air. So now let's act like a cricket and get into an enclosed airspace. All right. You can see that the hatch is open in this photo. When you're inside of the sub, as long as you're at the surface and the hatch is open, you're breathing outside air. But the minute that the hatch is closed, you're in an enclosed airspace, just like a test tube full of crickets. Okay, so we're a little bit below 300 feet right now, which makes it a perfect place to um, talk to you guys about your cricket lab. I know that seems odd, but inside of a submersible like this, you breathe in oxygen, breathe out carbon dioxide, and it's a closed space, so you would think that would build up. And we don't want the carbon dioxide to build up. So the carbon dioxide is scrubbed out of the air using sofna lime or sofna lime. Um, the bench that I'm sitting on actually is full of sofna lime, and it has holes in the side, and air comes in through the holes, and then a fan that right here you could feel. Um, this, yep, right there, thank you. That fan right there, it blows the, it sucks the air through the soft alignment, scrubs the carbon dioxide out. Now the reason why I'm mentioning it is because what you're going to be doing with crickets and test tubes today is exactly the same thing. You have crickets that breathe in oxygen, breathe out carbon dioxide, they're in enclosed airspace, but the carbon dioxide is removed from the air using barrel line. Basically the same thing as the softener line, there's some different trace elements. I filmed this guy diving with a rebreather on spring break in 2015. You'll notice he's not blowing any bubbles. Just like a normal diver, when he breathes air in, it comes in through a hose on his right side. When I breathe out, that air just bubbles away. When he breathes out, that air goes through another hose, a second hose, and goes to containers of barrel lime on his back. Those barrel lime containers will scrub the carbon dioxide out so he can continue breathing that air. In lab today, you are going to be using barrel lime for exactly the same reason. You're gonna be using it to absorb the carbon dioxide that is given off by the organisms that you have in a test tube, either crickets or uh, bean sprouts. I almost forgot to tell you, what was the deal with the tiny cups? Well, these were all full-size styrofoam drinking cups. And uh, what you see in front of you is basically a submarine, submersible, underwater technology culture thing. Everybody takes uh, styrofoam cups and they decorate them. And then they put them on a piece of machinery that's going to go down deep, deep, deep in the ocean. If you remember, styrofoam is foamed polystyrene plastic. 
you go down deep enough, you'll compress it and force all of the gas out of the foam. That's why it has this rough surface. All the bubbles popped out. And what you're left with is polystyrene at a much smaller size. And it keeps whatever little decorations or writing you put on the outside, even if it's about crickets and submarines.